In this workbook, I've got a couple of conditional formatting rules, and I'm going to show you how those can get duplicated so you end up with lots more rules than you started out with, and then how you can fix the problem. So in this table, I have two rules. One puts a line at the top of a date if it's different from the date above, and the other rule changes the price to green if it's greater than $500. We'll take a look at those rules in the Home tab, go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. And there you can see the two rules, and they're each applied from row 3 to 19 in this table. Now this one is just a cell value greater than 500, and this one is referring to a couple of cells. So if A2 is different from A3, we're going to put a blue line at the top of the cell. And now I'm going to insert a row because I forgot to put in one of the records here. So I'll click insert and then just put some data in this row. So that was a simple change to the table and now I'm going to go back and look at my conditional formatting rules again. And suddenly I have a new rule just for the row that I inserted. So row 11 has its own rule. And the previous rule is still there going from A3 to E10 and then A12 to E20. So it's skipping this row because that row has a separate rule. And if you insert lots of rows, you can end up with hundreds of these rules set up without even knowing it. And what I do to fix it is select all the rows except for the first one. Then go to Conditional Formatting, Clear Rules from Selected Cells. Now if I go back in and manage my rules, and I'll go back to this worksheet just so we can see everything. So we're back to those two original rules. Then I select the first row. I'll select the first row in the table this time instead of the whole worksheet. And go to the Format Painter and make sure you're selecting this first row as well and apply that formatting to all the rows again. And when we go back to Manage Rules, we still just have those two original rules. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.